Hi, I'm Father Randy speaking straight from the heart. Today I'm in one of our classrooms that uh, have been going under these wonderful renovations. One of the benefits of having the building sort of closed down for the year is that our maintenance man, Jimmy, has been able to come in and, and repaint and refurbish uh, many of the classrooms so that when things do open up again, they'll be ready for use and uh, in better shape than they've been in many years. Our first reading today <clears throat> from the book of Daniel is this wonderful story of the, the young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who, going by their uh, Israeli names, Hananiah, Asariah, Mishael, are uh, taken by the king, Nebuchadnezzar, and um, given the best treatment, but they're told that they are to worship the Babylonian gods, which they refuse to do. And because they refuse to do it, they're sent to a, a fiery death and put into a huge oven. But the Lord protected them, and a fourth person was seen walking in the blazing fires one who looked like the Son of Man, who for the Christians was clearly Jesus. And they were saved. And because of that, uh, Nebuchadnezzar uh, was greatly impressed in their faith. That despite persecution, despite the temptation to do otherwise, they kept faithful to their belief in God. We are often ourselves tempted to give in to cultural and social pressures, but we are asked and we are compelled by our faith to stay uh, committed to the Christian message. Besides the new renovations, there are a lot of other things going on. As you have heard, Roberto Chavez left us for a wonderful new job up in Denver. And we have are welcoming Kathy Kuzman, who is our new Faith Formation Director. And she's taking advantage of this downtime right now to get her rooms and offices in order so that when we begin again, uh, we'll have uh, a great uh, new start in educating our young people. For this Holy Week coming up, we do have uh, one baptism and a, and a confirmation as well, a father and son combination. So if you're able to join us uh, or watch the vigil online, you'll be able to pray for these uh, two new uh, members of our full communion in the church. Holy Week is next week. Palm Sunday is this Sunday. Let us recommit ourselves as the three young men did uh, before the Lord. Let us um, put Holy Week uh, as a time for prayer to remember our fasting and almsgiving and to prepare ourselves during this next week to celebrate with great joy the Feast of Easter, which we were not able to celebrate together. Um, this Saturday, the day before Palm Sunday, the Knights of Columbus are sponsoring a, a, a day of reflection for men of the parish. So we pray for them during this time of, of, of prayer for them. And as always, we pray for the poor and we invite contributions for our food pantry where food is being distributed every Monday and Thursdays to anyone in need. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.